Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel which provides geography videos for school pupils and teachers across the UK. In this video, I'm gonna be looking at the human causes of climate change. Let's dive straight in. Now, the first key word here, of course, has to be human. And the reason that I point that out is because in your exam, you've got to be very careful between the wording in your exam question. The examiner might use the word natural, natural events, or it could be human activity. So what we're looking at today is purely based on the human activities which we participate in, which is leading to the increase in greenhouse gases leading to climate change. All right, so let's dive straight in and look at the first cause. So cause number one. So around the world, we've got an increase. These are not gonna be great diagrams, by the way. <laughs> we've got an increase in industry, where large amounts of fossil fuels, such as coal, are burnt, which produces large amounts of CO2 into the atmosphere. So let me just repeat that. We have an increase in industry, industrial action, where large amounts of fossil fuels such as coal are burnt, and this produces large amounts of CO2, carbon dioxide. Human cause number two. So around the world, we have an increase in agricultural activity. What I'm drawing here is a paddy field to show the farming of rice, rice farming very popular in the continent of Asia, which does have the largest population of all the continents around the world. So this particular activity is on the increase. Now, rice farming, along with livestock farming, produces large amounts of the gas, methane. Okay, so agricultural activity, is our second cause. Right, cause number three. Guys, I'm interrupting your geography lesson for 60 seconds only. Stay with me, listen to me. You're probably watching this video now because you are studying at GCSE Geography. Am I right, yes? Good. Now, are you struggling with your revision? Do you not know what to revise? Are you struggling with structure, with time management, with exam skill? If any of these things apply to you with your revision, help is at hand. Presenting a brand new online tuition platform designed to help every school pupil towards exam success in their GCSE geography. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the Genius Geography Guide. If you would like further details about this amazing online platform, click on the link below this video and all the details will be there. Now back to your video. Just in case you're wondering, that's supposed to be a plane. There you go, little windows. So, especially in the more developed world where people are able to afford air transportation, there has been a dramatic increase in this sort of activity, air transportation, people flying to different parts of the world. Now, because of that increase in this activity, it has led to an increase in the gas, nitrous oxide. So air transportation leads to higher amounts of nitrous oxide, another greenhouse gas. And number four, Tree, cut tree down. Obviously that means there's gonna be an increase in deforestation. And if there's more deforestation, the destruction of our rainforests, um, other rainforests around the, around the world, that of course leads to, as we all know, an increase in 
CO2, carbon dioxide, okay? So that leads to an increase in CO2. So let's just review those four causes before we move on to the next part, okay? So cause number one, first human activity is an increase in industry where large amounts of coal and other fossil fuels are burnt that produces the greenhouse gas co2 and that's how you would say it in your exam when you're writing this down you wouldn't just write industry you would write down industry where coal and other fossil fuels are burnt which produces CO2. That would get you two marks as opposed to one mark for just saying industry, okay? Cause number two, an increase in agricultural activity, such as the farming of rice or the farming of livestock, which produces large amounts of methane gas. Number three, an increase in air transportation which leads to an increase in nitrous oxide. And the fourth one is an increase in deforestation, the large scale removal of trees around the planet, which therefore leads to an increase in carbon dioxide, CO2. Now, these four causes, we need to look at the reason why those four causes are increasing so much especially in the last 50 years. What's happening on our planet to accelerate the growth rate of the four causes behind me? So there's two factors at play here, okay? Now, this part of the video, this is gonna help you guys jump from a grade four, five, six into the realms of seven, eight, nine. Okay, so stick with me. So the first thing that's happening is there's an increase in global population, especially in some areas of the world. Now, as the population level goes up, everything else, unfortunately, goes up as well. So obviously, the more people, the more electricity we need. So therefore, we have more industry. The more people, the more food we need. So therefore there's more agriculture activity. The more people there are, the more people there are gonna be jumping on planes and flying around the world. The more people there are, the more land and space we need for our growing cities to grow our food. So more trees are cut down. So that's the first reason why these things are accelerating. The second reason is a demand for economic growth, especially in NEE, newly emerging economies and low income countries. And because of that demand for economic growth to get the world's poorest out of poverty, governments around the world in NEEs and LICs have been accelerating these human activities much quicker to ensure that their country can earn more money. And there it is. So four causes, industry, agriculture, air transportation and deforestation. And those four causes have all been accelerated by an increase in population and an increase to grow the economy. Hopefully guys, you found this video useful and it's gonna help you with your geography lessons, your geography revision. If you have, please do give this video a like, add a positive comment down below and please share it and subscribe to this channel. I look forward to seeing you lot in my next video. Take care.